Hey yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, another banner tutorial. Uh, this banner tutorial will look like something like this. Yeah, so these type of tutorial, I mean these type of banners. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want the PSD, make sure to get, we're going to get 100 likes for the PSD. And I will post it in the description or in my Discord. Actually, in my Discord. So make sure to join my Discord because you everything you will need is going to be in my Discord if there's anything you will need and uh, yeah i mean i don't know if you yeah anyway all right let's just get into the video so first off open up photoshop of course common sense all right so obviously you're gonna get in photoshop you're gonna click file new and then banner header which is 3000 by 1000 uh you're gonna click create and bow all right yeah i just gotta close this one all right then you have here once you have this this is your banner so the first thing you're actually going to do is a text so actually you're not gonna go in photoshop you're gonna go on cinema 4d which is gonna be not in my discord is going to be somewhere on youtube i don't know how to get it honestly but hey, you open up and i'll show you once you get in all right so you're going to open up this uh lightroom before you do anything before you say how do you get this lightroom how you do that all you got to do is you got to join my discord server and once you have done that you got to go to subscribe verification right here uh all right so you go to subscribe verification right here you read verification info after you've read this you go to subscriber verif verification send your screenshot here and uh you go back and you scroll the way down here and then tutorial stuff right here it should be in here so i'm gonna post like a folder and that that's that my lightroom is there all right so just make sure to do that and yeah all right so it does not really matter what color your thing is so let's just put it like this all right just like that that looks pretty all right in my opinion all right there you go hold on now you can just pre-render it just to check how it looks yup that looks pretty good and i'm just gonna keep it like that does not matter what color it is all right so if you want this after you like position your text and everything uh oh yeah how you change the text you go click on here the text and then you click here and then you change your name to your name so like that boom name but i'm gonna have it on yuzo so because that's my name of course so I'm just going to keep it on you though. And what you want to do is you want to put the depth on 50. This is important. When to put the depth on 50, you want to click here. You want to click on output. No, actually on save. And then pick folder wherever you want to save it. And make sure you name it 3D at the end. Whatever you're going to name it and 3D at the end. So you make sure. So like, just remember that. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to click here to render it. Now it's going to render. Once, <coughs> oh my God. All right. Once it's done rendering, got to click here. Now what you do is you got to click here and you put this on zero bow and now what you're going to do you're going to go back here and you want to put 2d now all right once you've done that you can render that again and that's and there you go you're done with the text so now you can actually close this and you're done all right now you want to import both of the things you just the freaking uh got from cinema 4d you want to import both of them so you want to add them both here uh yeah, so now what you want to do, you want to go to the 2D one. You want to actually put the, you want to just call this 2D and this one 3D. And you want to put the 2D on top of the 3D, just like that. Okay, wait, just like, bro, just like that. There we go. And now what you want to do is you want to create the 2D a bit bigger to the size you want to have it. So, like, I'm thinking 2800. So, hold on, 2800. It's going to be spot on there we go now put it in the middle so you can line it up and then same with this one 2800 the, the w1 2800 let's make it the exact same size because that's important there we go and i'll put it in the middle whoop lined up there you go all right once you have done that um what you want to do now is you want to go to this one this pz right here you want to open the pz which is going to be in the folder at the beginning of the video as i told you in my discord um you want to hide this you want to open these two right here so this is how it's going to look so you want to uncheck this part you want to go all the way down here you want to go to 3d you want to put copy uh, layer style you want to click it here and then you want to click paste and then what you want to go you want to go back you want to add the cracks uh so you go here boom add the cracks there we go i want to just make sure you select that and now you select these two things right here go back to the pad i mean the back to your banner just select these boom uh now what you want to do is you want to go back here now what you want to do is you want to go up to here you want to click copy layer style you want to go to the 2d we're going to go click paste layer style layer style and then what you want to do is you want to pick any background any Whatever anime you're doing for today's video, 
I'm gonna be doing Naruto, so Naruto wallpaper. Just search up that. Um, find some cool. So just like this, pretty this works. Uh, so you just want to add that, just like that. There we go. Uh, oh no, you want to add that to your main thingy. There we go to the 2D layer. And there we go. I actually want to make it a bit smaller. I'm trying to... There we go. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to select all of these. It's going to be hard. So you go to the top layer. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to actually select all of these right here. Just hold control and shift. Boom. Select all of these click here and boom it's gonna look something like that once you've done that you can finally um, go away from this and now you're gonna do the CC part which is kind of like this so look you go here once you're done with this you want to select all of this you want to group it together you want to control J call this the text backup uh, I hope I'm recording okay good all right now what you want to do is you want to control E this part and this part, you're gonna go camera raw filter. There's not really any settings you're gonna be needing to look for. There isn't really any settings, so just mess around with the, this part right here. Find what works best for you, for the picture you've chosen. Uh, mine will look something like this. So it's just a little small upgrade. Now what you wanna do, you wanna control J this right here. You wanna click blur, Gaussian blur. And then want to put it on 10 here you want to click lighten and you want to put it to like 68 or 70 it does not really matter let's just do 70. now what you want to do is you want to copy this Control j you want to click filter if i'm going too fast just let me know and then click radio blur and then put it also on 10 and then boom and here you want to put linear dodge add and you want to put it on like 38. there we go and that should look like that and there's your text done all must you're not done yet uh yeah so here gradient map this is where you choose the color so if i put this on black i'm pretty sure it should okay no never mind maybe not <laughs> um all right wait hold on gradient map you created gradient map hold on this should be working huh gradient fill okay okay wait what um, it's kind of confusing. Oh shit. There we go. All right. So now if I do this, if I unhide this, yeah. Okay. So, uh, go to this one right here and put the black here and the red here. No, okay. No, never mind. Don't do that. Take that back. Do this and I should be good. Okay. Now you want to put it on this. All right, well, it should be more red. That's what I'm just trying to find out. All right, my bad. I just chose another picture. Uh, anyway, now what you want to do is you want to, of course, uh, duplicate this, control E. Just do this part real quick. Uh, blur, no, no, no. This is the camera raw filter part. So, okay, yeah, just do the part as you just did, and yeah. All right, there you go. This is what I meant. So just like that. Uh, yeah, you want to do this part. You can just group them all together and boom. Here's your text. You can boom group that together. Here is your text done. So let's just place it right here. All right. Now what you want to search up is wallpapers from the anime you're going to be using. So just copy image boom over here. Now let's just put it actually over here. Actually, no, I like to have it over here and let's use another picture like um, like this right here could work. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. And I actually want to erase some of this just so it looks a bit cleaner. There we go. I want to put this actually above and I want to. All right. No, that's good. Um, there you go. So that should look something like this. Now you, what you can do what you want to do. Uh, you can leave it like this, but let's merge them together and then look 
You put the gradient, where's the gradient map? Yeah, gradient map right here. You put this to red. And you put the black on this side and the red on this side. So there we go. That should look like that. There we go. So I actually like to blur it, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, you'll see why in a second. All right, now what I like to do is I want to add the Naruto logo right here. So I'll show you right now. Hold on. So there we go. I just like to add the Naruto logo right there. There we go. I just add a bit of rain because I like it. Um, it's going to look pretty good uh, after. You'll see. So there we go. I just added my render because uh, why not, you know. And I actually like to make some changes to my render by adding him red eyes. I mean, by giving him red eyes. Because it matches the banner and his eyes are blue. And I'm probably going to change the Rasengan color as well. So, so just like that. Just like that. Now you want to click overlay. Okay, wait, maybe I'm stupid. Okay, you just click overlay. I'm pretty sure if you just... Yup, there we go. And actually just... Bring the opacity a bit down. There we go. He has red eyes now. I actually like to make them glow as well. Because that's just nice. So just give it a bit of like bow and bow. There we go. Okay, it does not glow that much. But I, if I just do this, this. I can do blur. Fashion blur. I can make them blur. I mean, glow. Okay, no, okay, no, that's not gonna work. Anyway, same with the Rasengan. Create a new layer. Do this. Get to the Rasengan. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm shook. Um, there is another method, uh, but I'm just being really stupid right now. Since I know you can just grab the this right here okay wait there we go I don't know you can just do this instead and it's way easier there you go there you go now I can just control J boom hue saturation boom and I can just make it red Yes, I know. There we go. All right, there you go. Now, actually, what I like to do is Control J, Gaussian Blur 10. That's not 10. So, Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. Put that to 10. Boom. And then click on Overlay. There we go. And then click here. And then click Lighten. And then put the best bit down. So it'll look kind of more realistic, if you know what I mean. And then once you've done that, you can actually select all three, you can merge them, and then you can click a uh, camera raw filter. And right here, you can change some stuff if you want to change some stuff. Just like that, just change some stuff on him, of course. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that real quick. There we go. Just like that. Now once you've done that, you can actually control J, click filter. Filter gallery. And you can add him, I mean, give him a little nice look with the paint dubs. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Um, camera raw filter. No, no, no. All right, hold on, bro. I'm tripping. Um camera raw filter no 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 you're gonna do this on the main so right you don't need that all right there you go cool um so filter gallery and then add which one was it bro oh yeah it was plastic wrap or you can add this one looks pretty sick as well you can add any one you want to be honest but um look if you add this one right here there you go just looks a bit more realistic or kind of like realistic you know 
anyway uh, after that you can do some changes you can add more stuff hold on I'll be back but to be honest now uh, I know you guys don't have this pack at all so you're gonna use different packs like balance pack and killer pack GFX packs all those works as well so you're just gonna add like a lot of particles I will show you right now all right listen trust me on this but just spam a lot of particles like I just did right now and once you have done that you wanna you wanna go to the to another pack and you wanna do some brushes I'll show you right now oh and also I made the background a bit darker so I, as you can tell look this was before and I just made it a bit darker so it looks a bit better yeah you can make it even darker there you go all right so as you can see i have made a, some changes so before the brushes i actually just added some cc's and a g map if you don't know what a g map is that's a gradient thing so as you can see this is the original i still haven't changed anything but I, I after this oh no this is not the original this is the original so after you add some cc's it started looking better better just better and now that i have g maps it looks pretty much fantastic bro this is crazy all right but yeah you can be this could be done right here if you want to but of course you can do more like me because i'm gonna do more i'll show you right now hold on all right so as you can see i just added my ninja way because that's like his quote or whatever you want to call it you know yeah his speech yeah all right yeah so now once you're done you want to group it all into one group just like this you want to copy this group you will call this the main or the banner or whatever you want to call this banner header i don't know Anyway, now what you want to do is you want to do what I did in my what I showed in my previous tutorial. So like the CC thing, I will link the tutorial in my description, and also it, you'll probably see like up here in the top right. Anyway, this is uh, I'm gonna do the CC thing as I did in the last tutorial, and I will show you once it's done. All right, once you're done, it should look something like this. Uh, well, you can choose between this and this, of course. Um, yeah, well, I liked it like this. So it should be done like this. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And I'm actually running out of ideas. So you guys got to give me ideas. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, tutorial. Smash like, subscribe. And yeah, see you.